Okay, hi everyone, it's me with my second video. Still, I don't have a better camera or lighting, so I hope this helps. Uh, today, I want to show you uh, the new Space Wolves Dreadnought and how to use magnets to uh, have it in different options, so as Bjorn, as a Venerable Dreadnought, or as the Murder Fang. Uh, I already uh, readied the most uh, basic components, so the basic assembly is already done. We have the main body uh, glued together. We have the claw ready. The left arm, the shield with the fingers, so with the fist. The great axe, which is awesome, with the fingers attached. Uh, and the other arm, the axe arm. And that's about it. Now, uh, what do we need? Uh, beside the plastic kit, of course. Uh, hobby clippers. Uh, the drill with a 3mm uh, drill bit. A uh, hobby knife, of course, and the magnets. And what do we have when it comes to the magnets? We have seven three by one millimeter, two uh, square magnets, uh, two by one millimeter, five magnets, uh, which are three by two millimeter, two bigger ones. Uh, five by two and a square one uh, which is um, I believe uh, also five by two. Uh, why use square ones? That I will tell you in a bit. So uh, in this case I already have a commission for another dreadnought which is basically uh, ready. So I'll try to show you on this one uh, the more or less step by step how we should do this and I hope you get you'll get the general picture oh and of course we'll need uh, glue and for some of you who might want to use this uh, some piece of plastic card I use uh, the cover from uh, a blister pack and we can but don't have to use a small blob of uh, green stuff which I'll mix in. You need about this much. Uh, okay, so let's get down to uh, business. First thing, of course, the uh, whole dreadnought is assembled, mold lines are uh, removed, uh, so uh, that's that. So let's go over the specific parts. First of all, the weapons arms, so the shooty weapon arm. You get this bit, one of various cannons, and this part. Now, in order to have the uh, cannon section exchangeable, you will need to uh, get rid of this. So you will need to cut here along this line, so you uh, have this which you insert in here and this part uh, be it assault cannon, melta or uh, whatever else uh, is interchangeable so how you do this? Uh, of course you can use the hobby knife I have a cool uh, tool like this uh, so this is a, a cutting um, bit you turn it up and then I just go like this and with a few minutes Whoop. it's not a perfect tool Ta -da. It, does. it gets the job done so uh, we have this part now we put it in here of course uh, the um, plastic is a little bit melted 
from where you cut so you get rid of this and it fits inside so that's part one uh, the other part is you, you do the same for all uh, weapons leaving just the um, the muzzle mm, so an example of the multi I have here and what you do now is uh, use the first magnet so first you drill a hole here okay and then you drill another hole or you can uh, just glue the magnet he inside here so you drill a hole uh, and here you use um, the 3x2 magnet because it's a little stronger and it will hold the weapon in place so you uh, put a magnet here and here then it goes like this and you attach this part to cover it up I'll show you how it works on the mm, completed version so here was the bit from the assault cannon here you can see the magnet that's stuck inside and for the assault cannon here is another magnet it's the 3 by one and you can stick it right there like this same goes for the frost destructor cannon of cold and awesomeness and the multi melta here I had to cut the um, lower part because it would interfere with the this chain so that's it for this arm now uh, when talking about this arm you would um, I like to pay, uh, pay attention to one thing namely uh, this Renault on this hand this isn't perfectly square uh, I mean around sorry uh, the small part here is cut off which uh, allows the axe hand not to swing down like this but for this arm if you just uh, want to attach it like this it will go down and it will be a very sad dreadnought with uh, with the muzzle of the weapon pointing at the ground so what you do here is um, use a li the little blob of green stuff and put it inside here in the lower part and stick it on the general body only a few seconds and uh, the green stuff is then pressed inside giving it the shape which corresponds to this so now when you put it on the dreadnought and add a weapon it will not not go down even if you shake it okay so that's this arm uh, when it comes to the uh, weapon part now uh, the our the axe hand this is fairly obvious since you ha don't have any problems here because it fits and doesn't swing but now the question is uh, what to do uh, to make the hand exchangeable um, for the uh, axe or the murder fang claws and now what we do here uh, where the hell is that hand okay so uh, this is the one already um, ready so uh, it looks like this only need one magnet in here and how you do this is uh, also really uh, simple you take a hand uh, then take the well let's call it a wrist put it on it on there uh, glue it in place I'll do that in a jiffy come on okay now uh, pay a little attention to how the, uh, this inc the these incisions are so 
because this defines how the dreadnought then holds that axe. So position it first freely, like you would like to uh, have him hold the axe. <coughs> now, uh, you put a magnet in here. So I use the square magnet because, well, I don't know, because I have too much of them and they're not really all that uh, useful when uh, putting together dreadnoughts. So you take one. And now, of course, uh, when working with magnets, it's important to get the polarity right. So in my case, I have two dreadnoughts. So uh, I have to mm, align the magnets in such a way that uh, the weapons from one dread uh, will fit uh, to the other in case I want uh, to play with, let's say, two dreadnoughts with uh, those axes and shields. Okay, so I put a magnet in there. I put two because it's easier to reach but I'll soon remove one. So this will dry. Now the axe. Uh, here. Where is the device? Oh, okay. Here you need to drill a hole for the magnet like I've already done here. Here you can see the magnet. Uh, because the axe is, axe is heavy so you'll need uh, to use these magnets, so those 3 by 2 otherwise the axe just might fall off under its own weight so you, um, wrong axe uh, so you just drill a hole in there and the axe shaft is uh, big enough to uh, hold that uh, magnet so let's just make it fit okay you can put it in there and push it uh, down a little bit more check the polarity okay again one last drill you a little bit of glue inside Okay, you put it on like this, like a set, because oh, here it goes, those fingers fit the wrist section. Okay, you put it in, squeeze it in with your fingers or something that's not metal, so it sticks. Remove the extra magnet here, and ta-da, voila, won't fall off. So this is this hand, the axe, and when it comes to the uh, murder claws, uh, first I was uh, like that maybe I should put a magnet inside, but uh, when you put the murder claws on those wrists, uh, they basically won't fall off because they fit so well. So if you want, you can repeat the process by putting a small magnet here. Uh, you will need, uh, I think, those 3 by one but really you don't have to because the murder claws fit and don't fall off on their own. Uh, that goes for both claws in both hands. Okay, so we've got this. And uh, final thought, uh, these hands can support a mounted storm bolter or uh, heavy flamer so here you put one additional magnet you cut off one of these uh, let's say plastic ribs here screw a hole in its place and stick a magnet inside so now you can exchange with a heavy flamer or the storm bolter which I have prepared from the previous dreadnought. Okay, that's this hand. Now the other one, and this this is where it, it gets tricky. So, 
first of all, Games Workshop didn't think of giving you all the options um, when it comes to arming the Dreadnought. Because the Dreadnought in the Codex can have a power fist, but uh, you don't have the parts, uh, the parts uh, which is the fist. So, uh, what we, uh, I'll just skip that part. You can make a fist on your own from whatever scrap bits. Uh, I recommend the <laughs> uh, end of an Eldar wa Wave Serpent. Those um, vector engines or something like that. It almost look at like looks like a dreadnought fist. But here, what you can do, you have the uh, Great Wolf Claw, the Bjorn Hand, and of course the new and awesome shield. So uh, I'll use the dreadnought, which is ready. And when it comes to this hand, uh, first of all, you put the large round magnet inside here so it sticks to the main body now when it comes to this part there are a few ways you can do this uh, you can either first place the wrist component and then cut it with your tool of scrap knife here so the so that this peg it remains in the wrist uh, or mm, you can just uh, use magnets. Here in this case I did just that, so I have prepared the wrist, glued it on, and then cut a line in between. And that leaves me with uh, putting a big round magnet and a smaller one here, inside one small magnet, so three by one, here and the square magnet just like with the other fist in here. So this way you get this level so here it turns. Uh, of course here the magnet for the stormbolter slash heavy flamer and now when it comes to uh, these weapons. I decided to go with the Bjorn hand because well it's basically also a wolf claw only bigger better and looks more awesome so here I used uh, a blob of green stuff inside you put a magnet in and then you glue uh, the plastic card on top so it doesn't fall out and these, this leaves you with the option so it uh, fits, fits, should fit. Hmm. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Sorry. Because uh, the wolf claw and fist and uh, Bjorn's fist have a separate wrist. So we don't need this part. Sorry, my bad and it fits on like this while having a magnet inside the other option is again the wrist so like I said magnet here here and here you put it on and now for the shield uh, the shield is quite heavy so you put the a uh, 3 by 2 magnet in here if you can see this okay so in here you have to uh, drill under a small angle so not not straight down not uh, like this with the shield but like this you put a magnet in then the fingers fit into the arrests and tada this fits also so this again uh, the wrist stays and it is interchangeable with the murder claws so murder fang claws whatever which fit on the wrist without needing a magnet so this turns on the wrist murder claws come off with the wrist you can just pull them out 
murder clause don't need magnets. Now, uh, the final thing is the attaching this arm, so the shield arm, to the main body of the dreadnought. Uh, this arm with the shield is very heavy. So, uh, even a greater problem than with the assault cannon arm, p uh, attaching it to the dread requires uh, strong magnets. And, better yet, square magnets. Why do we use square magnets? Uh, because two square magnets uh, won't turn on each other's axis. So, uh, I'll have an example here. I used extra magnets and no way, it's really difficult to turn them this way when, when magnets meet square meet square. Uh, of course I did use a round magnet here but uh, the weight, um, because these magnets are really powerful then it doesn't have to be, this one doesn't have to be square because it holds and its strength is enough to keep the fist from falling down, I mean pointing downwards on its own. And because it's really hard to put square magnets, to drill holes for square magnets into the dreadnought. And I'll show you how to do this in a rather simple fashion. Maybe you cut out this bit with pilers, tuck, screw a hole as big as you can, and now comes the hard part. So you uh, cut each of those sides down a bit. Hope you can see this and know what, what I'm getting at. You just basically need to cut the specific uh, sides of a square and it, this hole needs to get bigger and bigger so it takes up some time but as you can hopefully see what started out as a hole is beginning at least I hope it is beginning to look like a square so a few cuts here uh, forcefully into the edge then from the top down so you get a 90 degrees angle same along the wall along the side up and along the other side to the edge and <laughs> that should about do it well not quite but almost a few more uh, cuts Hit this uh, up, and up, and down. Oh, so you can, now you can see the magnet fits. Uh, you just then put super glue uh, around the edges and push it, not too much, so it doesn't fall in. And in that way, you get this which you attach the shield to then comes the axe and hand like this and here has the dreadnought which is not swinging too much and of course with the interchangeable weapon slot here. Okay, that's about it. As I said, don't worry about the wolf uh, wolf claw because you can just use Bjorn's hand. It is, in terms of rules, still a claw. 
so it has talents and that's about it so remember that using the claw uh, you get um, a second wrist this wrist with uh, those with two slots is the wrist for the shield uh, I had the opportunity to make two of these because I have two dreadnoughts. You norm normally get only one such wrist, so choose which one looks more awesome. Uh, I went with Bjorn, so when playing tournaments, uh, no one will tell me that, oh, but that's not Bjorn, Bjorn has another wolf claw, it's more awesome, you can't play that miniature as, a, uh, as Bjorn. Yeah, sometimes people uh, do that. Okay, so I help that, hope that's uh, about it and that there's uh, that this video some kind of in some way helped you to uh, get a better understanding of how you can use magnets to uh, put uh, such a dreadnought together. Of course, uh, don't worry about this uh, merger fan clause because you can have only one. As such dreadnought because it's unique and maybe in future videos I'll show you something else since I'm also a Grey Knights player and Grey Knights are coming up in this Saturday oh so maybe they'll have uh, something which I could uh, show you so that's about it enough of my blabbering uh, please comment on what you would uh, recommend so that I can make my videos better uh, any ideas ideas are appreciated uh, no comment is bad I hope and see you soon for the final battle for the wolf time Ha-hoo!